Healthcare teams have a lot of meetings. For example, in residential care, teams of carers meet before each shift and the registered nurse updates carers on things that they need to be aware of for their shift. The key updates relate to resident care and safety. It's really important that these meetings are a two-way affair. First, that the carers actually understand the updates and know what to do. And secondly, that they pass back information they've picked up from working directly with the residents. This resource aligns to the listening strand of the learning progressions. In particular, the language and text features, the comprehension and the listening critically progressions. The teaching and learning sequence starts with a discussion focusing on roles and the need to be an active participant. This means checking information, asking questions and feeding stuff back. These meetings are something that learners do every day but have probably never thought much about before and certainly will never have talked about it with their colleagues before. Next, there's a focus on scan listening skills. This is when you listen for a name or a number. After that, there's an intensive listening focus where learners watch a video of a hand handover meeting and make notes about the residents. In the video, there are four ways the carers use to check information and the next section works on these. The final section involves creating an action plan to apply learning to the workplace, which is what this is all about. The idea is that learners go to a meeting and participate and then talk about it with a colleague. Together, they decide on aspects of the meeting that they want to improve. They then try things out in their next meeting and report back to you when you next meet, which might be the following week, for example. While the context used in this resource is handover meetings in a residential care situation, um, the, the skills and the strategies can be applied to lots of other healthcare meetings in different healthcare contexts.